Okay, I'm up at the 1465 platform. Everything's set up. I think I have the trigger cam on. Here we go. Now I'm shooting the second series of the 117 grain. Those things were running in the 3160s. I mean, sorry, 3180s. And now the wind's coming from, a, from the right. It's, it's howling pretty good. Uh, let's see, elevation. Nine and a half. You know, it almost looks like a boil. I almost feel like it's a spin drift killer. I don't think I'm even gonna put any wind in it. I'm just gonna hold it heads up. It's getting pretty darn miragey too. I do like that load. That was great. That was an extreme spread of that's an ES of eight with an SD of three. It's a little faster than normal, but I like it a lot. All right, next distance we're going to the mile. All right, I'm up on the mile platform, all set up. I've got the six shots left, so I'm going to be able to shoot the mile and the 2152 from the same platform. I got the trigger cam gun set up, three shots of each, and these are gonna be a little hotter, only 0.2. It might push me out of the node, probably not. I'd like to see it where those last ones were. That last set at 117 was great. One thing I like about this lab radar, you just hit the arm button, takes you out of whatever you were in, and right back to, uh, right back to recording. 1760 13 1 okay wind let's take a look oh we got a little right to left now that tailwind's snaking on me all right we're just gonna have to wing it like always Oh, right to left, spin drift. I'm just gonna put it right on it. I do not have a flasher on this target, so here we go. Thirty-one seventy-two actually dropped down, so this is actually pushing up in the next node. That looked like it was off the left edge. Let me go right, 0.3. It's hard to tell. You're getting some pretty good mirage down there. Thirty-one eighty. I'm not sure exactly where this is going. We're gonna have to go look at it. I, I painted it, so it'll be the only hits on there. 3182. Okay, so we're still right there in that node. I'm about to lose my book, and it's gone. Okay, we're gonna go to 2152, which is that target right there. Kansas wind, baby! Two yards. Nineteen point two. Let's see. Nineteen, twelve, seven, nineteen, two.
right, there's some right to left. Let me give it, uh, oh, 0.7, maybe? Let's find out. And I can't see anything. 31.89. Seventy-nine. That was just off the right edge. I saw that. So elevation looked pretty good. Thirty-one eighty-seven. Okay. Now I only took six shots at that target. Two. So that fourteen eighty-five. That same plate is twenty-one fifty-two at this platform. So I only I hit three shots. I could see that I hit those at the last place. So we're gonna drive down there and go look at the plates, see if I made impact. And I can already tell you that the 117 grain is the load I'm gonna be running. And then the next time out, I'll come with just 117s, get some more data out at these distances. The early distances are money. You seen that? Let's go check them out. I gotta get out of here because I've got a meeting at Customs and Border Patrol to get my 4457 form done. All right, I'm down at the mile plate. I made three impacts, one, two, three. So we're a little lower the water line. Call that about nine inches or so low of the water line uh, average. So we need to come up. Uh, I'll do some calculations on that, but a couple, a couple tenths. Uh, we'll bring that up. But uh, I couldn't see anything. It was so miragey, but you know, my bullets could figure out where they were going. So it's all good. Headed to the next plates. All right, I'm at the far plate, also known as the 1465 plate, and I've got one, two, three down there in the corner, and I'm assuming because at 1465 that, that gun groups pretty well. That's one, two, three, 1465, and up here I've got one and two. That is the, uh, that's 2152. Um, I must have missed one. There's probably a hit over here in the dirt. There's my other miss right there. Either way, something knocked the flasher off. Cause I thought I saw it flash one time. Um, I only missed one shot today. That's not bad. I will take that. Okay, so 1465 needs to come up. Mile needs to come up. 2152 needs to come down. And I need to take that into consideration when I'm running my numbers later in the lab. Uh, I got to get out of here to drive into Wichita to get my paperwork done. I'm looking at this right here. It's about 16 inches. I say that's about 16 inches. So we need to, I'm, I'm gonna make some numbers. We're gonna make that stuff work. I have a load that's gonna work. And I also need to, to take into consideration the speeds of those shots to come up with numbers that are gonna make everything line up. And then I'm going to make a ballistic coefficient curve that lines up to all this data we got today. So stay tuned while I do this math, but right now I gotta run into Wichita to the CBP office.